this video I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to resort your customer vendor lists. Okay, so normally what we are used to in the olden days of QuickBooks, <laughs> you're used to going into something similar to your chart of accounts where you go down to account and click on resort list. However, in the customer center now, we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have the ability to resort our list down here. Okay, so how do I resort my list for customers and vendors? It's a little trick. You're going to go up to banking and write checks. I know, bear with me. Or you go to write checks down here. Okay, and it opens up the check screen. Then you're going to click on the button that says pay to the order of and push control and the L key. We're going to pull up the lists. Okay, there it is. It pulls up all my customers, my vendors, my employees, and all of those lists here. Okay, and now it's in the format where I can click down here and say resort list. Are you sure you want to put in its original order? Okay, yes I do. Now the, the lists have been resorted. Now why would you need to do that? Frequently, you know, if we have errors, sometimes we have errors in our data file. Sometimes it gives you a, you know, when you're doing your verified data file, it brings back an error that you need to resort your customer list. That's how you do it. Um, if you are in your customer center and it's driving you crazy because you've done something and re oh, put these all about different places, okay, you can go in and resort your list there. The other thing you can do is you can click on this little diamond here and it'll put it back to its original order. However, that's not actually resorting the list. You do have to go into the right checks. Again, push Control L, pull up your list down to the name, say resort list.